Tara Tom here. I'm so appreciative that you're with me today. We're going to talk about Amazon Redshift. When you create a table on Amazon Redshift, the table structure goes to every single slice, whether there are 20 slices in the entire system or there are a thousand. So everybody has the same table structure. When you deliver the rows, now that depends on how you created the table because there are three distribution types with Amazon Redshift. Those distribution types are a distribution key. You will pick a column in the table and say, I want you to distribute that row based on the value in the distribution key column. That's pretty standard. There's also a distribution type of even. It's like playing cards where you get the rows and you go slices, who's in? And each one gets an equal amount of the rows. We just laid these out randomly, but evenly. So that is one option that you have. And finally, you will have a distribution style of all. Now I want you to think about what that really means. Let's say you had a state table with 50 states. What that would mean would be they would take all 50 states, that entire table, and they would put that on each and every slice. So it would be like looking in a mirror to say, wow, I've got 50 states here. And they'd all say, we all have the 50 states. So those are the three distribution styles. A distribution key, even, or all. It's so important that you can visualize the data on these systems. We're going to take a look at an employee table and it's going to have a distribution key of EMPNO. Because it does a math formula on that employee number with each row, they're going to put those out fairly evenly across all the slices because employee number is a unique key. It's not unique here, but there are no duplicate employee numbers. So based on the formula, it will spread the data fairly evenly. And then the beauty of that is if you say, select everything where the employee is equal to 99, they know exactly which slice that's on. So that is really the idea behind a distribution key is A, it'll spread the data for you automatically, and B, if you use that column in your WHERE clause of the SQL, it is a single slice retrieve because they just run the formula again and they've re reversed engineered where that's exactly at. That's very, very clever. You can also provide a sort key. So in this case, you're going to see EMPNO as the distribution key, but you're also saying, I want you to sort by that too. So each slice, they get their rows and then they sort by that employee number also. Very important concept there that you understand how a disk key uses the math to spread the data and then go and find that data. Now, this is the second really important feature here. We're going to show the same employee table, but we're going to make the dist key, we're going to make that department number. Take a look at these rows. Very important that you understand this concept. We use one mathematical formula on department number to spread the rows across the slices. But you can see here, that all of the people in the same department went to the exact same slice. So you are going to get some data that's not evenly distributed among the slices because, as you can see here, we have got all of the matching departments on the same slice.